Hello world, North Shore Scout here, and I got a little bit of an obsession to uh, share with you guys. Uh, not so much going to be talking about the radios you can see here in the background, but instead flashlights and flashlights over the years. So back in the day when the lights went out, you would probably go after one of these guys here. And they have big old chonker D batteries in them. And these suckers, I don't even know how old these ones are. But, you know, when you didn't have anything, this is what you would go to. And show you. This wasn't very dull, well good at all. You can hardly see anything that you're doing. But it was better than nothing. So. Oop, come on, light. There we go. So, these kind of sucked. But then, after a while, you would start to see some LEDs show up, which were these guys. Now, this was kind of a premium one. Very thick case, very, very rugged, but also not very bright. Okay, maybe a little bit brighter than the other one, but we're not talking a whole heck of a lot brighter. Then we went to more LEDs. Let's see what's one. More LEDs. This one has six in there. You can see they're about on par. Then they decided to throw more LEDs into it. Wow, that's actually getting somewhere. I can use this one. This one actually I wouldn't mind keeping in my vehicle. But things started to get a little bit more ridiculous. Oh, let's see, which one should I do first? All right, so you have these tactical ones, like this one here, it's a XMLT6. It's adjustable, and what you can see here inside, possibly, is an LED diode. I'm not quite familiar with like all the terminology and all that kind of stuff, but the LED of this versus this was just astronomical. So, switching from the little guy here to this one. Okay, now we're getting to somewhere that is really good, really bright, focused in, going out. But then technology keeps going. The battery inside this thing is an 18650. And... This one's also an 18650. And these are pretty large batteries. Um, I forget what the power is on them, but they hold so much power in them that you can actually charge a device off of these things. You kind of use them as a battery bank. And now I'll switch to this one. Okay, that's not as bright. But, oop, that's, yeah. So this one isn't as bright, but it's nice and small and compact. Now, I'm going to turn this, turn the light back on here. Do, 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 do. One, two, three. And what got me to making this video was Vastfire sent me a couple flashlights that just blew me out of the water. So, this here is the tactical one. It's got two 18650s inside of it. And they sent me this guy. This thing is not 18650. It is actually a 26650. I'll show you the difference here. There you go, 18650. Let's just pop one of these guys open too. This runs on three AAA batteries. All right, and then this guy here. Let's open. Look at this. That's pretty chonkers right there. That's 6,000 milliamp battery in that thing. And this D battery I have, well, I don't think they really measured them that well back in the day. They were just lucky they worked. But that's a D battery. And this thing took two of them. 
it was nowhere near bright enough to do much with. <clears throat> but let's show you how bright this guy is. So we're back in here. It's like loading up a shotgun shell. Might be like a 10 gauge. Maybe even an 8 gauge. There we go. All right. So to show you how bright this guy gets, I'm going to turn the light off here. And now, boom. I'm pointing this thing at the ceiling and it is lighting up my entire gun room here. Look at this. That is stupid bright. Oh wait, there's an even bigger one. <laughs> yeah, this here is the big brother to it. And that is a, oh, it's gonna look like this. Look at that, brights up the entire room. This is a twin 26 650. And it is even brighter. <laughs> look at that, unbelievable. I'm lighting up my room beautifully. Like, look at that. That is insane. How bright those are. Like, I got LED strips up here. Oh, blinded. And these things are still brighter than the LED strips. I would love to bring you guys outside to show you how bright these things are. But currently, um, I don't really want to wake up my neighbors. This guy here, I keep him in my backpack. It's a nice, small, compact size. I think it's maybe about six inches or so. This guy here is about 10, 10 inches tall or something like that. And wow, it is just a beacon. Yeah. So it, it this they say this will go out to like seven hundred meters or something like that. This little guy will go out to about five hundred meters. But seriously, he can he can flag down ships on Lake Superior with these guys. But my favorite use for them is just as a regular candle, setting them up just like this, pointing at the ceiling and lighting up my entire room. On. Unbelievably bright. I love them. And the best thing about this is this small one here is only 40 bucks. Ten dollars more, 50 bucks. And that is a wonderful price. And also, I just got an email that they'll be sending me another product. Um, that's going to be a headlamp, which I believe has the same flashlight as this one here. Uh, another feature of these, uh, you may have seen, is on the side here. They have a little side LED. So what you do is you, you just double click, and it does off to the side. So if you don't need something extremely bright, you can just have that. I've actually used that on this guy here. When I was doing some outlets... Like over here. I didn't want to fill up the entire room. I just wanted to focus on a single area. Well, that just hurt my eyes. So, I just put on the side, tipped it up, pointed it forwards, and boom, there we go. I can work right on it. So, these aren't uh, completely perfect. I do have only one complaint. As you can see, I put this one down here on its but <laughs> I put this one over here on its face and that is traditionally just how you do every flashlight you just set them up like this you can just see I naturally do that well with this little guy here he kind of wobbles and I'm not quite sure why these are you can fully take them apart. Oh yeah, they also have a red light too. Oh, come on. 
they both have red lights to save your night vision or to work as kind of like a blinky emergency light. But yeah, putting it down like this kind of wobbles. It's not really that big of a deal, but it does mean that the lens here could get scratched when you park your light down. These aren't, uh, let's see here, completely rebuildable. So if a single part breaks, you can change it out. And there's an O-ring inside here. And I think maybe there should be another O-ring that sets the lens a little higher. So I can show you here. Put that aside. Put this lens in there. Like this. And then tighten it back up. And then it sits perfectly. So I think that might be just a little quick fix that a uh, vast fire can do. Add a second little rubber ring in there. That way you have a rubber ring between the metal part and the lens, the glass lens. And then it'll be able to sit just right. So easy fix for the manufacturer. Not that big of a deal. Um, either way, these things are beautifully priced for the amount of brightness you get out of them. So, I'll have a link in the description below. Um, the titles of these are like H, uh, X, H, P. Um, yeah. And look forward to doing another video with the headlamp. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. North Shore Scout, signing out.